Man, there's a man in your store there to meet a 13-year-old girl, and I need to address this, okay? We have the police on standby. I need you to let us in the door, okay, ma'am? Thank you. No camera. No camera? No We're, camera. Well, it's just for documentation purposes. No camera. Yes, I did, ma'am. There's a matter at stake right here. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? With the uh, Predatory Investigation Unit. We have the police being called right now. You don't know her name? Yeah, I gotta go. Well, well hold on a second, sir. I need to talk to you here. Dennis. Oh. You need to have this conversation with me. I got you on the count have, having a conversation with two 13-year-old girls. Excuse me, everybody! This man is here to meet a 13-year-old girl! For sex. For sex. Manager Karen didn't seem to like the way I went about exposing this predator in this mire. So, um, yeah, we're, we're kind of banned for a year. Probably just shop at Walmart or something until then. What up, y'all? It's your boy Skeeter Jean back at you with some more predator pasta. This time with a bit of a grated Parmesan. I've got a saucy one for you today. There's a lot of things going on in today's video, let me tell you. So first of all, we caught a predator, obviously. Uh, second of all, we got scolded by an angry manager, Karen, and got banned from the store. And thirdly, after the fact that we chased the predator out of the store, this bozo here, this random bystanding civilian, didn't like the way uh, that we went about things in the store and decided to aggress me and start an argument with me and announced that he was caring and even threatened to vandalize and break my camera, so. Are you the manager or something? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a witness to what you just did. To what I just did? Oh, it's okay. I'm not worried, I'm caring, I'm ain't worried about it. I just oh, asked okay. you nicely. So got yeah. it. But you walked into their business and she told you not to come in. So if I break your camera, you gonna have a problem with it? I don't know, could be a little bit of racial profiling going on here. He was pretty nice to my white friend, so I don't know, but you know, stay tuned for that. But before we get into the nitty gritty of today's video, a quick word from our sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is one of the most reliable and affordable VPN services out there on the market today. It's guaranteed to give you the safest experience while browsing the internet with whatever device you may be using so you'll never have to worry about anyone snooping on you. Unless you're talking to 13-year-old girls online. I will find you, and I will expose you on the internet for thousands of people across the globe to see. So just, just don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. With Surfshark VPN, you can virtually travel the world. Change your virtual location with just the click of a button and watch some good old-fashioned British television that you wouldn't be able to access otherwise or safely download files on the internet. We're not taking any risks over here. You can even encrypt your data while scouting for potential predators online. That's mainly what I use it for. But whatever your case may be, I'm sure that Surfshark will come in handy in one way or another. Right now, you can get Surfshark VPN for 83% off and an extra three months for free when you sign up using my code Skeeter. Now, back to the video. Meet Dennis. He's uh, from the Grand Rapids, Michigan area. It's a nice picture of him here in a cozy black sweater and a fancy pair of uh, pair of specs he's got there. Uh, pretty blue eyes, total stud here if you ask me. Every 13 year old girl's dream, 100%. Now Dennis was talking to a couple different 13 year old decoys within the last few months, but we're only going to get into the chat logs of one of the 13 year old decoys he was talking to. Um, the rest you can find on my Ko-Fi if you wanna check that out. So let's get into some of the things that uh, Dennis here was saying to who he thought to be a 13 year old girl before he came and tried to meet up with her. So long story short, they get to talking. The girl tells him she's 13. He starts off with some regular small talk. And here he asks the girl what she's doing. She says about to have lunch. He says, wish I could eat you for lunch. And this was uh, around Valentine's Day here. He says, happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. I'm so happy that you are mine. So he was very invested in this 13 year old girl for a while at this point. As long as you're in my life, my days will be wonderful. 
Wish we could be kissing right now. Harry says, are you a little wet? Thinking about seeing me? I can't wait to see how wet you get. Harry says, hmm, I bet it will feel amazing and taste so good. He says, I'm very excited. I just keep thinking about you in just a skirt and a jacket. Harry says, I'm sure you will have me so hard tomorrow when we meet. The girl says, you're going to be gentle, right? He says, yes, I will, baby. I'll take it slow, babe. And here he goes on and says, I want to hold you and hug you and kiss you. I want to suck on your nipples and rub you till you get wet. Then I want to lick you till you uh, blank all over my face. I can't wait to taste you. Here he says, I hope it won't hurt you too much, but you will feel so good wrapped around my uh, blank. And here he says, what if I want a pair of your panties? She, the girl says, you can have some, I'll wear a pair for you. He says, mmm, awesome, I'd love a pair. You know, it's really too bad that Karen was chasing me the whole time I was trying to chase this predator down, because I was planning to go into the store and just grab like a random pair of panties off the rack, then show up and confront Dennis with them and be like, hey, here's the panties you asked for. But unfortunately, Karen was being a total bit. Well, that's pretty much all I'm going to get into as far as the um, chat logs and conversation that Dennis was having with this 13 year old girl. Uh, if you want to check out the rest of the chat logs, be sure to head over to my Ko-Fi, ko-fi.com uh, slash Skeeter Gene we will be able to check out those chat logs and get a couple other exclusive benefits. Since Patreon doesn't want me anymore, that's uh that's where I'm at now, guys. I'm on Ko-Fi, so check it out. Now, before we get into the catch here, I just want to talk a little bit about this um this random civilian that was that was arguing with me. It's it's, it's pretty crazy. So after I was yelling in the store and put Dennis on blast, and he took off and we got his license plate and all that. This random civilian came up to me and started arguing with me because I guess I scared his niece by yelling in the store. And I understood that and I did apologize for that because that was not my intention to scare anyone's niece or anything like that. But you would think he'd be more concerned that there was a predator in the store there to meet a 13 year old girl for sex. Now I tried to explain this to this gentleman. I asked him, how old is your niece? He says, my niece is 13. Well, I mean, the guy that we chased out of the store was there to meet a 13-year-old girl, so, you know, you, you would think he would have a different perspective or be somewhat thankful of what I was doing, but, uh, because that, I mean, that, that very well could have, you know, been his niece, God forbid. He was so much more upset at the fact that I was yelling in the store and, I, I guess, up, upset his niece or whatever. Um, he didn't care that there was a predator in the store there to, to meet a 13 year old girl or anything like that. Now, at first I thought this guy was maybe some sort of manager or something because he, he was just so, so passionate and persistent about arguing with me and getting his point across. And you know, this really caught me off guard because at any given point, this guy could have just went home, got in his car, went home and called it a day. He didn't need to say anything to me, but for some reason he felt the need to start an argument with me and aggress me. Later into the argument, he did announce that he was caring. For some reason, I don't believe that I opposed any sort of threat to him. I mean, this guy literally had his right hand over his hip right here, um, assuming that he was ready to draw his weapon at any given point while he aggressed me, while I was just standing there minding my own business. He had no reason to come anywhere near me and, and do that. I felt a little bit threatened for my life. I mean, when someone is just standing there minding their own business, I don't see a reason to aggress them and announce that you're carrying and have your hand o over on, on your hip like this the, the whole time that that you're that you're aggressing them and they're, and they're not doing anything. It's just it was, it was pretty crazy. And then at some point he threatened to vandalize my camera. He said he's going to break my camera or something like that. And then he said he's going to wait around for the police to show up, but. When the police showed up, he was nowhere to be found. So you, you gotta you gotta wonder. I, I I don't know what what the deal was with that. 
Now, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I'm pretty sure the whole point of carrying a concealed weapon is so that no one knows that you have it on you. But this guy announced that he was carrying, so that kind of defeats the purpose. And it, it just seems like he's, it just seemed like he was looking for trouble. Now, I'm thinking this could have been some sort of racial profiling or something like that, because he was really nice to my white friend Chet when he stepped in to kind of calm the man down and get him to go back to his car. And I'm so glad I have a white friend. Like, if he wasn't there, I might have gotten shot that night. You know, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys on this one. Uh, be sure to check out my Ko-Fi as opposed to Patreon. Link is in the description for that. Uh, give me a follow on Twitter. And be sure to follow this Burner Gene channel I found, um, where all the deleted Predator videos are re-uploaded. Um, it's not my channel. I, I don't. I don't know who he is. But you know, whenever a Predator video gets deleted off that channel, it's like instantly re-uploaded. Uh, whoever it is, the guy is just on it. So Burner Gene, thank you for that. Well, Alright, guys, that's gonna be it. Um, I'm Skeeter, and I'm out. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, boys, it's uh, your boy Skeet Hansen here. Um, right next uh, to my boy Chet here. Uh, this is my, my muscle here for the day. And uh, we're going to catch this uh, this predator. His name is uh, Dennis here. Been talking to a 13-year-old girl for a couple weeks now. A few months back, he was talking to another 13-year-old girl. Uh, this time, his plan is to meet in the shoe section and uh, go ahead and bring the girl back to her house where her mom is not home is the plan here. And... I believe he said something about he wanted a, uh, a pair of her underwear to keep. We're just waiting here. Uh, Decoy said he's going to be here in about uh, somewhere in the next 10 minutes or so. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to hang tight here. Yeah, it should be in the store in the shoe section. Okay, just told Decoy we're walking in right now, boys. This is live. This is as real as it gets, all right? All right, boys, we're uh, about to have the decoy call him. So we're gonna easily see him. He's gonna be on the phone when we walk in. Oh no, they're closing this side. Excuse me, miss, <laughs> miss. Emergency, can we come in please? Can we come in this way? Please. So I'll probably, emergency, I'm with the predatory investigation unit. Can we can we come in this way? We, 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 need, to, we need to get in, get in the store, man, please. Can you just unlock the door real quick for us so we can, we need to get to the shoe section. Just need to see the yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, predatory investigation unit. Man, there's a man in your store there to meet a 13-year-old girl, and I need to address this. Okay, we have the police on standby. I need you to let us in the door. Okay, ma'am. Get you supposed to let us in. I think you have to rotate on lock. That's fine. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Thank you. No camera. No camera. No We're, camera. Well, it's just for documentation purposes. No camera. Can you just, so no, no, can you just no, let no, us no, in no, this no. way? No. I will, no. Okay, that's fine. Do you, are you going to call the police? Because we want you. We want the police called. Can, can we go in there and, and you can just call the police? Why don't you tell me what it's about? Oh my God, we don't have time for this. Okay, we got we to go the other entrance. We got to go the other way. We got to go. He's in there now. For right here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's that's fine. Yes, I did, ma'am. There's a it's a matter at stake right here. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? With the uh, Predatorial Investigation Unit. We have the police being called right now. Yeah. This will be your picture, right? Oh, that is, yeah. Yeah. So uh, who, who are you here to meet? Uh, just a friend. Just a friend. Can you come over yeah. this way, Rinaldi? Just a friend. Who, who's that friend? I, I don't know. You don't know her name? Yeah, I gotta go. Well, well, hold on a second, sir. I need to talk to you here. She told you she was 14. <laughs> sir, we have the police on standby here. Yeah, thank uh, we, we do. Ma'am, are you calling the police? Please call the police, ma'am. Sir, you're gonna wanna have a conversation with me. I have everything on you. 
uh, this whole conversation with you talking to a 14 year old girl or 13 year old girl. Uh, Dennis, I need you to stop. We're, we're having the police called right now. Dennis, you need to have this conversation with me. I got you on the count to having a conversation with two 13 year old girls. Excuse me, everybody. This man is here to meet a 13 year old girl. For sex. For sex. His name's Dennis Johnson from Grand Rapids. Here to meet a 13 year old girl. Dennis, I can do this all day. How fast are you gonna run? We're getting your license plate, bud. This man's here to meet a 13 year old girl. For sex. For sex. Should I have this conversation with you? Lock the doors. Can you guys lock the doors? Counts are being called. We're gonna get your license plate, Dennis. Dennis, should really have this conversation. Dennis, come on, this is your last chance. Come on, Dennis. Come on, Dennis. Come on, Dennis. Well, we had a runner. That's all you can do. All right. Uh, I guess we can wait around, wait, around, ugh, wait around for the police. Not much uh, more we can do there, boys. Uh, that was a uh, Dennis Johnson. Drove two hours all the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan, to meet a 13-year-old girl for sex. Uh, and that's uh, that's all we can really do there. We're gonna wait for the police to show up. I guess the lady in there called the police on us, but you should be calling it on him. But uh, let's meet a couple boys. Uh, let's let's go get let's go get fucking drunk. Hold on, hold on, keep it on, keep it on. We're gonna, get, we're gonna go in here and see if, see if the police are being called. Okay. Are they on their way? Don't, don't have the camera on her. Feel free to walk by, sir. We're just, we're just the investigation unit. I mean, at this point, they're... I'm scaring, don't worry. You guys run by, kind of, you know, you scare people like that. No, no. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, that... You open up a can so of they're, yeah. they're instructing our customers what well, to do when I have a customer that's complaining about hey, that. They have it right here, sir. Oh, three you better pull them yeah. Oh, these are just my comrades. That, that man's here to meet a 13-year-old girl. Okay. Thank you. For, for sex. I'm, you have to be beneficial with I'm, I'm calling them. Yeah. Okay, well, She's calling them. Call them and I'll take What's it? Yeah, we are all a team. Huh? We are all a team. Well, no, you didn't notify. No. You ran through here. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, he wants. You ran through here screaming. They yeah, I had to let everyone know. Them not to. Okay, oh, okay. We're, we're answer, you just answered my question. Yeah. Thank you. You asked, okay, I appreciate you asked. Okay. I thought they just, you know. Well, I asked that man to stop and have a conversation. Yeah, but you were he was there to, to come in, so now I'm calling the police. And you guys. Uh, what about that guy? You're gonna, you handle that. Yeah. I'm not condoning it, but you handle that. You mishandled my property when I told oh. you not to. This Thank is you. public property. Gotcha. Stop. All right, boys, I guess we're really caught. We are. We are. I'm just talking to him. Yeah. And Please stick around. Who are, you, are you the manager or something? No, I'm, I'm a witness to what you just did. To what I just did? Oh, okay. yeah, you ran through the business, scaring people. What about the guy that's here to meet a 13 year old girl? Did she not tell you not to come through here screaming at people? I mean, I mean, she told me, but. It's professionally, if you're going to do something professionally, right? Well, you know, I, I guess you got a point there, but. No, no, I'll be, I'll be here. It's funny to you. I like how you guys laugh about it. It, it is kind of funny. I mean, because. You run through here screaming, screaming at, you know. Yeah, pedophile. Yeah, you take care of it outside. You don't take care of it inside. Well, we kind of. Police of business. No, no. Yeah. You trust, you call the cops. Well, we were, we were getting to that. Who's investigator for what city? Uh, no, no one in particular, sir. So we're just you a private. You're an investigator. For, we're a private investigation oh, unit, sir. Private investigator. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure you keep reporting this. Oh, we are. We're, we're, we're not stopping. What's up? We're going to we have a little conversation. No, absolutely. Would you like to have a conversation with me? It seems like it. No, no, no. No? Well, no, you ran through, mm -hmm. and my niece just you scared the shit out of my niece. Well, I apologize for that, no, sir, no, because... No, I have to address you for you to scare my niece. So, okay. Uncle, what's going on? And how old is your niece? 13. And I got well, three that dude. And I had my well, nephew that was seven. And that guy was here to meet a 13-year-old girl, so really I'm protecting your niece. But did you run through And you're here? mad at me. Did a, pre did a pedophile just run through here? But did you walk into a personal business? Did a pedophile just walk into a personal business? Okay, where's he a public at? business. He shook off. I got his license plate. We're going to give it to the police when so they get why here. why didn't you guys do stuff professionally? Are you serious? 
You know sir, what? Th sir, this is my, this is... Don't be reaching in your pockets, please. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't ask you. I seen him keep reaching like this. Uh, sir, sir, I have nothing on me. I, I deal with that. Okay. Absolutely, sir. It's okay. I'm not worried. I'm carrying. I'm ain't worried about it. I no, just asked you nicely. So yeah. I understand. But you walked into their business and she told you not to come in. Okay. So, right? Listen. But we had uh, something to address in the store. A man was there to meet a 13-year-old girl. So, you know, it's, I, it's, it's, a, I, it's a lot bigger than what you're seeing here, sir. Am I right or wrong? No, you're right. What I did, yeah. You scared my niece and my nephew. Well, I apologize for that. That wasn't my intent. Well, I apologize because after you scared all these people, then you see you got, you got like that girl right there. Well, that wasn't my intention, sir. You're not run in here chasing people through the business with a camera. Well, look, the guy was getting away. We had to get his license plate for the police. Oh, but you walked through the whole place. I seen you mm -hmm. walk around because yes. I, I was all the way in back. I'm not denying this, sir. But you chased them around the whole place. We did. That's what we do. We have to get their license plate to give to the police. Well, you chased, you could have just sat out here and caught him. Um, no. Ah! He was in the store ready for, uh, to meet a 13 year old girl. So I, I don't I, think you really know how this whole think, thing no, works. I yeah, I'm stupid. I didn't I'm say you were stupid. stupid. Never said that. I'm just saying I don't think you understand how this whole operation works. We have them I beat. Guess you, beat I don't know. Yeah, we have them beat in the store. That way it's a light public place where yeah, the. cops are usually here when they meet them. Well, that's... Green County takes care of this situation. No, you know they don't, so I have to. Huh? All right, well, they don't, so I have to. And I've worked with them before. I've worked with Canton PD before. Well, this is, this is not a Canton issue. This is Wayne County. Especially if you've got pedophiles, right? Uh, yeah, but I imagine... She was a pedophile? I, yes, sir. Okay. I imagine she's calling Canton PD, right? She's thinking because you, you invaded her privacy. I understand, but... Sure. I didn't invade her privacy, no, but... She, did she ask you not to come in a place and start trouble? Um, I don't think she asked me she not said, to. please don't come in the store. Well, we, we had uh, something to business to attend to, sir, so. It's six three, you guys are chasing guys out of here. Uh, sure does. We're not here to chase them out. That's not why we're here. We're, chased we're, them out the door and got his Well, because he ran, because. Well, when you chased me out We need hard, hard proof for the police that he was here to meet a 13-year-old. Did you call the police yet? She did. We were going to. What do you mean you were going to? You didn't. We were going to after we, we after to. we confronted him, but he ran out. Sir, have you seen any of, my, any of the, the oh, investigations? Who the fuck you, are. you don't know who I am. I hate to swear okay. at you. If okay. you're any kind of professional dude, you'd have, you'd have documentation besides your little badge. Well, I'm, well, I'm Skeet Hansen, and uh, okay. I'm kind of a big deal, I'm not going to lie. Have you ever heard of Chris Hansen? Mm -hmm. Dayline NBC? You ever heard of professional football players? No, I can't say I have. My cousin's a professional football player. What's his name? Stojanovic. Savage? Stojanovic. Stay out of it. I've never Stay heard the name. It. Sounds familiar, huh? Stay out of it. I never heard the name. Well, sir, I apologize for, for scaring your niece. That well, wasn't they're my... Gonna be, they're in a car waiting, that's why. Who's in a car? Oh, okay. That's why I walked gotcha. them out. Okay. And that's why I asked if she's a manager. So it's gotcha. not like that you walk ran through here. Sir, it's private property, so you have to turn that off. We don't have to turn that off, actually. Excuse me? We have a right to record at all times. So if I break your camera, are you going to have a problem with it? Oh, no. uh, yeah, sir. That would be vandal. That would be vandalism, so yes. If you're a professional person, you'd be like, hey, this is who I am. Right, you, uh, I told you who I am. Well, yeah, after I sat here for 20 minutes talking to you. I've been trying to tell you who I am, but you've been talking over me. Oh, well, please, please explain. Trying to get your point across. I told you, I'm Skeet Hansel with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Predatorial we confront. Investigation. Yeah. Well, we... You're not with the local police department. No, not at all. Well, that's what we're a privately, no, we're a privately owned and operated organization. That outright. I'm wait, wait in my truck. Okay. When the cops show up, my niece and nephew come back. All right, sir. I'm not please to come talk to me. No. Want to talk to me, please? No, no. I was just trying to ask, like, where are you talking? Sir, uh, what's up today? What's going on? Um, we're um, an investigation, we're a privately owned and operated investigation unit that uh, confronts and exposes online predators for trying to meet up with minors online. And this guy, his name is Dennis Johnson. He was in this mire all the way from Grand Rapids, Michigan to meet who he thought to be a 13 year old girl over there in the shoe section. Uh -huh. um, I got his license plate. I have uh, his picture here. Uh, some of the messages that he was sending and I have more of them archived um, if you guys are interested in that. Um, but the, the real problem here seemed to be um, with us sort of uh, making a scene, I guess, in the store as the gentleman was running away. Okay. I told him I'd like to have a conversation with him where we would call the police, which we're glad the police did show up. And um, I kind of put him on blast going down the checkout lanes and 
apparently disturbed a few comp uh, few customers, but I just wanted to make everyone aware of the situation, what that man was there to do. Okay. And that's um that, that's pretty much where we're at right now. I got you. Where is this man now? Uh, he drove away. He drove off? He, yeah, he drove off. Okay. I got you. It's you three gentlemen? This is us three, yep. Okay. What was the gentleman's name? Uh, uh, Dennis. I believe his last name is Johnson. Um, I have his phone number here that he was texting from as well. Where's he at? Uh, he's from Grand Rapids, so oh, he's, he's he still... Right oh, he took oh. off. We Yeah. We, we did get his license plate number, though. Um, so, nobody's in any trouble or anything. However, because of the... What about that guy? What guy? The guy was there that is here to meet a 13-year-old girl. We're still going to be investigating that. As oh. far as you three, That's work in progress. nobody's in trouble for any of the, the scene that occurred. I guess they were upset because you were filming customers. And they weren't some shouting, running customers. around the, the front lot. So nobody's in trouble for that. However, they they do not okay. want you guys to return. Okay. Okay. So so, so we're that's what my partner's filling out right now is trespass issues. So trespass we're banned from Meyer. What's that? So we're banned from the store. So for one year, you're not eligible to return unless they take you back. So if you talk, okay. to the, if you call up tomorrow and talk to another manager and they say. Yeah, that's fine. Guess you come back. Just last night, we wanted you out. Um, okay. Then if it's rescinded, then you, by all means, you can come back. But in the meantime, it's good for one year. Okay. If you were to come back um, and violate the trespass notice, you'd be eligible for arrest, okay? So okay. we don't want to see anybody get in trouble, so... Um, right. But yeah, man, I don't know if they talked to you a little bit, too. We, we appreciate exposing somebody who's doing things like that. Right. However, there's a, there's a better way to go about it, right? Other yes. than showing up, man, get us involved. That's what we're here. We okay. get paid to do this, man. Yeah. Well, you know, as I was explaining to the other officer, a lot of police departments, you just don't want anything to do with it because you, we're not law enforcement cool, cool, or anything. Cool, yeah, yeah, like like, like yeah, you said, I, I will. Man. Okay. I mean, I got a daughter. I'm sure uh, other officers got kids. We care about that kind of stuff, man. So if okay. you got a lead on an investigation, let us know, man. We'll get detectives involved. Okay. We'll, get, we'll figure things out, right? Absolutely. We can't yeah, yeah, go some like some here, police departments, they don't want to do it. Um, so unless like we get the gotcha. information and give it to them, yeah. they're like, we, we don't care. Okay. There he says, want to slide your hand, hand on your panties and feel your wet blank. And he says, what if I want a pair of your panties? And then later in the conversation, he was talking about how he, you know, he wants a you know, pair of those panties and all that. Mm -hmm. So okay. and he agreed to meet up here. Yes. Over there? Yep. That's right. So you guys are yep. here. How'd you, how'd you initially get in touch with him? Um, we set up a profile on a dating app and he missed the profile and kind of just went from there. What app is it? I want to say he was from Meet Me, an app called Meet Me. Yeah, no, no, um, no problem. We're, we're out of here. If there's any or anything, man, you can call us at any time or detectives going to call and follow up with you anyway. Okay. Um, no other questions right now? Nope, nope. Uh, pretty all straightforward. Right. Banned from Meyer. Got it. We are set, okay? Okay. All right, and yeah, just, just one year. This, it's good. Just one year? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can find somewhere else to shop. Uh, All, right. All right, have a good one, officers. Yo, Steve, yo, can I get a picture, bro? Uh, sure. <laughs> we we, we got to leave the property, though. We just got banned. Oh, got bro, that's fucking <laughs> hilarious, dude. Yeah. You catch one? Oh, yeah, yeah. We chased him out of here. Yeah. made a whole scene. Ooh. Yeah. We got to be quick, though, man. We can... Dude, thank yeah. you so much, bro. No problem, Appreciate bro. Appreciate hey. you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just got yes, banned. Yes, yes. All right, boys, we're leaving uh, Meyer right now. Uh, just uh, just got banned right here. Uh, it's a trespass notice right there. Banned from Meyer for a year. Today's uh, February 16th. We can't return again until February 16th, uh, 2023. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, hell yes. This is a great Valentine's Day gift. Love it. So all three of us are banned because we're all on the property. The predator didn't get banned for some reason. Hey, who knows, you know? But uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, go ahead and get out to the bars, boys, and uh, let's let's go get let's go get fucking drunk. Let's let's do it.